I couldn't find the video anywhere else, so I'm making it myself. Uh, we're going to be replacing the blower motor resistor pack today. If you're trying different fan speeds and it's not working on your Jeep, then your resistor pack has probably got a blown resistor in it. This is an easy easy fix. Uh, cost you about $25 in parts, and you only need one part. Comes as one one unit. You can pick it up at AutoZone, the dealership, or almost anywhere for about $25. Uh, you get your tools ready. You're going to need a flathead Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16 socket or a wrench to do this and the resistor pack. And we'll grab these and go over to the Jeep. On the Jeep you're going to want to take the passenger side door off and your glove box it needs to come out. Very easy to do. Hopefully I don't need to explain how to do that to you. The green connector there, right below and behind it, is where the resistor pack is going to go. It's where the old one is, and you want to put the new one in the same place. And if we can see, get this out of the way. Right about where my thumb is popping up there. Just to the side of that is a screw. And it's hard to little see on the video, but there's a screw there. You're gonna have to remove that. There's also one underneath. And get it right there. It's right there. And that's what's holding your resistor pack in place. That red piece you see right there is part of the latch that holds the wiring harness into the resistor pack. And this white circle is your dome light. First we're going to take the dome light out. What this does is it's going to make it easier for you to uh, get your hand in there and gives you some space. Flashlight's not going to cooperate with me. All you're going to need to do that is a Phillips screwdriver, which I have here. And we're going to go ahead. And if I can try and do this. There we go. And as an option, if you don't want to just pull it off to the side. There's a latch right there. You can just push that in and the wires will pop right out. And get the socket wrench here. And make sure you got it set the right way. Now you notice I'm not taking that wiring harness out just yet reason for that is it's kind of difficult to do. I don't recommend skipping that part. We use a flathead screwdriver. Slide that red piece out and the wiring harness will pop out after that. I'm going to skip that part just because it makes it a little easier. The wiring harness can get stuck and there's not a whole lot of room to work with. We're going to come up on top. And if you look right behind and below that wiring harness there, the green on it is your other bolt that you need to remove for the resistor pack. And we're going to do that right now. 